Hi, welcome to Z Gadget Review. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. I haven't done one of these in a while, this type of uh, vlog type of videos. I did decide to take some time off during the Thanksgiving week. I spent some time with family and I decided to take some time off because we have December coming on and then we have January coming on with uh, CES and all those events that happened at the very beginning of the year. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to take some time off now and then I can start December into January and into the rest of the year, you know, refreshed and ready to do more videos for you. I decided, you know what, I've never really done a tour of where I do my videos. I'm not going to call it a studio because I do it in my own apartment. I don't really have a studio. so. I'm gonna show you what my setup looks like and maybe if you're someone who's interested in making videos, you can take some inspiration of that and um, see what it is that could work for your small space because I personally have a small space to do this. So let me go ahead and show you around and let's talk about the things that I have here that I used to make this happen. Okay, so let's start with this window right here. So as you can see, this window is a pretty big window. It lets a lot of light in. And I usually keep it with without with my uh, shades open so I can get some light. So that kind of poses an issue when you are doing a video and you don't want all this natural light coming in because you have lights already set up. So what I do, because I don't have a lot of money and, you know, I, I use... A lot of things that I have around that I can work with. So obviously I bring that shade, the, the shade down, the, sh the blinds down. But that still is not enough to uh, make the room as dark as I need to make it. So my solution to that was this right here. Towels, as you can see, I have one towel, just drop one, two towels, and then I have three towels <laughs> and then I have this uh, blanket. So what I do is I just hang the towels. I hang the blanket first and hang the towels in front of it and that covers most of the window. I have a little bit of a gap down here but it's not that bad as long as most of the light is gone. Works like a charm and you know I was trying to figure out how to do it because you know you when you look in YouTube for videos on how to you know kind of build a studio in your home Sometimes they give you all these choices that actually cost money to make. And you're like, well, I don't have the money to buy this, you know, all these flags and things that are going to cover the light out of my house. So I was like, well, I do have towels and blankets and why not use those? And that's what I've done. And it works, especially during the summertime when there's more light. Now that it's wintertime or fall, whatever time of the year we're in right now, it's easier because it gets darker earlier in the day. So you don't have to worry about that light coming in, but during the summertime, that is the best solution. So if you have seen my videos, you are familiar with this setup. I'm usually sitting in that chair, talking to you into this camera. And it looks a little different because I have the light set up a little different right now to show you what I use. It is pretty simple. I have this table that I got at Ikea and I actually want to make it um, a raceable desk at some point and when that happens i'm going to do a video on that because i would like to do some videos where i'm actually standing up and not sitting down all the time to kind of change uh, perspectives on things so i have this table right here and as you can see i have a video where i actually set this up this whole shelving and stuff which i will link in the description section so you can see how i did it this all ikea stuff as well i'm going to show you how <laughs> ugly is here so i like changing this uh vinyl covers if you notice my videos have different vinyl covers i do change that once in a while but i have this strip from uh it's govi led light it's not set up all the way and if you can see here's the rest of the roll and i just taped it to the top of the shelf to give that effect and then i put this here this shelving was really really cheap on ikea which is what the reason why i got it i didn't need something too big then these are all boxes um from products that I own and that I like. I actually did a review on this very, very early on uh, my YouTube channel. The head is something that is new, something that I added recently, uh, I will say probably a couple of months ago. 
And the reason for the head is none other that I just thought it was fun and I just thought it was cool. And I used to have a light here uh, before that I wasn't very happy with because it flickered a lot on the videos and it really annoyed me. And so I couldn't figure out how to make that light not flicker at all. And so I tried different settings on the camera and things uh, that I had read about and I couldn't figure out how to not make it flicker. And when I saw this head, I thought, you know what? That's a great option. Not only I think it's funny and cool, but it'll also take care of that issue that I have with the light that goes in that corner. So I decided to get this head and replace it. And um, I dressed it as me. I'm planning on doing more things with the head at some point, but haven't really gotten to that yet. But hey, stay tuned and you may see something different in that corner. I will link everything that uh, can be purchased through Amazon in the description section. I will also do the same for IKEA stuff if you want to buy IKEA stuff. Then I have these lights here. As you can see, that's my kitchen. Don't look at it, it's a mess. But this is the lights uh, that I use to change colors. And all I do is change the filters for this. So. You have those these color filters and then they're swappable. I bought the light on Amazon. I think it cost me, it's a package of both two lights. So it was uh, that light there and this light here. And those two lights, I think cost me between 30 or $40. And it's, those lights I actually purchased. Was, it was actually the first equipment that I purchased uh, when I started doing the channel to have some lighting in my face. And then I repurposed them to make the background, the color that I needed to be when I shoot the video. And they do have um, some light lead here on the top. As you can see, it's like white. And I have this extra uh, non-Apple polishing cloths <laughs> that I bought on Amazon and actually use them to put them on top to cover the light lead that happens on the top. And it, it works well. Again, working with what you have because, again, you don't have the money to spend. So if you have things laying around that you can use, use them to uh, control your lighting and stuff like that. Up next, I'm sure you already saw it. I have this cardboard contraption here. And these, again, are Amazon boxes that I've repurposed to create flags and shades for my lights. And so... I have this tripods that I've been using, and this also controls the lively for my light. So right now I set up like this. One day in the future, I will replace it with the real thing. But in the meantime, it does the trick. Another thing that I'm sure you're noticing here is this um, make, make, makeshift soft box that I created. So this light is uh, the same as this light. And this is the uh, the newer lights that I'm sure you can see in um, Amazon. And this newer light is a little too bright. I mean, you can control the brightness in the back, but I didn't really like controlling the brightness. I like to have it bright. And again, because I didn't have the funds to purchase a softbox, that's one. Two, softboxes are usually really, really big. And so as you can see, I don't have that much space here. So if I got a softbox that takes all this room right here, then, you know, I'm screwed because I don't have that much room to move the lights around. So I decided, you know, hey, I, re I read somewhere that someone said, oh, you can use uh, a, a bed sheet, like a white bed sheet. But then the issue with a white bed sheet is you still have to create a frame to put in front of the light, which again, requires space and money to create a frame. I mean, if you buy the lumber and put it together yourself, it's still extra expense, right? And what we're talking about here is trying to save money wherever you can. And so I have these undershirts, white undershirts that I wasn't really using anymore. I decided to repurpose them and to just put them in front of the light to create my own softbox. And so this is what you get right here. And so you can tell the big difference between how bright the light is, it's at 100% in between when it has the so-called softbox and when it doesn't. So that shows you the difference between one and the other. This usually has the same T-shirt that this one has here. 
um, but I decided to remove it because I am showing you around so you can see what the line looks like without the t-shirt. I didn't buy everything at once. I've been buying it in pieces. If you see my videos, you can probably tell when I got something new because of the way the lining look or the way the setup looked. So things have been changing as I've been progressing. My other thing that I have here is this over the head light. And this usually is off when I do my videos, by the way. So it's not as bright, but I have it on right now because we're doing this. So I have this light also that I bought on Amazon. And again, I bought this light also to have it uh, for uh, my face. And then I have repurposed it to have it as an overhead light or shoulder light or backlight, whatever you want to call it. And this works via battery. It works really, really well. I don't know if my battery is charged on there right now. Yeah, there we go. And this one, you can control the brightness and um, the warmth as well on the light, which I really, really like. So it works really great for an overhead light. And then I bought this boom pole, goes all the way down here, in order to hang the light out there. Because again, I don't have the space to hang the light from the ceiling. As you can see, there's a fan and this whole thing. And because um, I haven't been able to get around to getting sand for the sandbag that came with this, I used this little backpack that is full of things and I just hang it and that keeps this in place. And of course, as you can tell, this is really hard to move around. I don't move it around because I don't really have anyone that comes to my apartment. But um, yeah, if I if I had to have if I had guests and things, you know, it would be a pain to take this apart and then put it back together every single time that I had to do a video. So this, for the most part, stays the same. Now let's talk about this big gigantic thing here. This actually, this is the most recent thing that I got. I got it at Amazon. It's an, it's newer. And what I like, it comes with, with uh, two of these, but they're reversible, so it all has dust on it. So you have the black side here, and then if you need white, you have the white side here. And then you have also, it comes with a silver and gold, so you can change it depending on the need that you have. And I got this because the same thing with the boxes, I needed to block some light in that corner because there was a lot of light leak coming from here and it will wash out the color of the wall. And so I was able to get this. It was a, a really good price. I'm actually thinking of getting another one eventually to go here. Uh, not right now, probably sometime next year, because I think I'm done with doing, pur making purchases for the channel for the year so far. That works really well. I didn't know it was as big as it is. So if you see there, it's really really big really really tall and that is my fault because i didn't really pay attention to the dimensions when i uh, purchased it but it works great so i'm happy with it again the only <laughs> issue is space i don't have that much space and then this is a tripod it's an amazon basics tripod and this uh, right here is where the camera sits to shoot here but as you can see there's not that much space so so that is pretty much the tour for where I make my videos. As you can see, it is a small space, uh, but I'm maximizing this space that I have the best I can. So as you can see the difference, I added the t-shirt on the light that didn't have it. So you can see how different it looks. I also turned off the light that I had on top with the fan and I haven't turned on my overhead light. So that is it. That is this uh, vlog, if you want to call it that, or different video with this uh, mini video space tour. If you like my video, as always, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. Okay, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate all the new subscribers and everybody who has been subscribing to the channel. It makes a huge difference and I really appreciate it. And as always, make sure you hit the bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. Thank you very much for watching.